In this section, we will be discussing one of the coastal features that is unique to tropical environments, which is the coral reefs. You will be learning about the location and biodiversity of coral reefs, their importance to humans and the environment, and current threats to global reefs. Coral reefs are marine ecosystems found at or slightly below sea level on the seabed. A coral reef is a limestone rock which is made up of skeletons of small living organisms, called polyps. These polyps secrete calcium carbonate to protect their soft delicate bodies. New coral polyps grow on top of existing coral polyps as they grow and die. Calcium carbonate skeletons accumulate as limestone over time, forming massive coral reefs. Coral reefs can be found primarily between the Tropic of Cancer in the Northern Hemisphere and the Tropic of Capricorn in the Southern Hemisphere. Southeast Asia has the world's largest area and the highest biodiversity of coral reefs. Tropical coral polyps have small, symbiotic algae inside them. The algae gain food and safety from the polyp, and the polyp can make food from the algae using photosynthesis. Like other plants and animals, coral reefs too need favorable conditions to grow. This includes optimum levels of sea surface temperature, sunlight, salinity of water, and the oxygen content. They thrive well in clear, saline water, between 10 and 60 meters deep, where they get sufficient sunlight to encourage algae photosynthesis. The temperature of the sea surface water should not be lower than 17 degrees and must not exceed 21 degrees Celsius. The water motion must be moderate to ensure that the corals receive sufficient oxygen. Okay, what are the challenges for their healthy growth then? Firstly, sedimentation. The sediments in seawater may suffocate the living corals. Secondly, severe storms. Storms triggered by tropical cyclones can cause extensive damage to coral reefs. Why are coral reefs valuable to the environment? Coral reefs are one of the most important ecosystems in the world and have been called the rainforests of the sea, owing to the diverse range of plants and animals that they support. They provide food and habitat for marine life that lives around the reefs. Coral polyps leave behind their skeletons as they grow, or when they die. These skeletons create homes for sponges, clams, and snails. Those smaller organisms are what feeds the bigger fish and the even bigger fish. So without the corals, you slowly lose the ability to support the entire pyramid. Thus, they are essential to balance the marine food web. Corals also provide material to create beaches. For instance, parrotfish feed on living coral polyps and their excretion creates the white sand seen in tropical beaches. Coral reefs help protect the shorelines from waves. They can absorb wave energy which can protect the adjacent land mass from erosion. Why are coral reefs valuable to people? Coral reefs are important as they provide protection from tropical storms. Storm waves break over the reefs, reducing damage inland. Globally, more than 270 million people live along the coast. Reefs also provide recreational activities like diving, snorkeling and free diving. Corals are being used in cancer and virus research. They provide employment in tourism. Fish is fast becoming a more popular source of lean protein in the diet. Coral reefs serve as nurseries for 90% of all fish, costing an estimated 100 million US dollars. Now, let's understand how coral reefs are under threat globally. Coral reefs are under pressure either from natural processes and human activities. Natural processes such as floods may damage the coral reefs. The topsoil, sediments, rubbish, pesticides and fertilizers from flooded areas may be washed through the river system, out to the sea, suffocating the reefs and other habitats. 
coral reef ecosystems are affected by large-scale development of coastal areas. About 75% of the world's reefs are threatened. Within Southeast Asia, about 95% of coral reefs are threatened. Let's take a look at some of the threats to the coral ecosystem. First threat is the overcollection of corals for personal use or for sale. Overcollection weakens and disrupts the ecosystem. For instance, Philippines attracts a large number of tourists every year. Coral colonies are threatened by souvenir collection from divers, and shallow reefs can be trampled by such visitors. Secondly, the fishing methods adopted by people are often destructive. The use of dynamite and cyanide to stun fish in the Philippines and Indonesia can destroy coral reef habitats. In Bonaire, Belize, and the Netherlands, spearfishing is used, which can reduce specific fish populations and disrupt the food chain. The third and most significant threat is the climate change. It causes rapid changes in the sea temperatures and sea levels, which can lead to coral bleaching due to the loss of algae in high sea temperatures, similar to what happened in Seychelles. Tourism activities developed without careful planning is the next threat to coral biodiversity. Expansion of coastal resorts for recreational activities can cause water pollution when sewage waste is discharged indiscriminately or when boats spill oil. Remember? Corals can thrive in clear water that allows sunlight to penetrate for the algae to photosynthesize. All spills will form a layer over the surface of water through which sunlight cannot pass through and pollutants will make the water turbid reducing the oxygen. The anchoring of boats can also cause damage to corals. Lastly, coastal developments such as land reclamation and expansions dump rocks and sand onto the reefs. These developments may increase the amount of sediment in water, suffocating the corals, similar to the situations in Japan and in Florida in USA.